Welcome back guys. This is a, well, I don't say it's an unboxing, but it's something of that sort. Um, for this Fruits Basket uh, card game that I got a while. Well, I mean, I got it in a while ago, but I've been meaning to make this video for a while and actually a couple of other ones, but I've been quite busy with graduating from college and then getting laryngitis for like three weeks. That was fun. And then trying to you know, put it in resumes, trying to get a job, and also trying to prepare for my wedding. So it's, uh, it's been crazy. But I got, but anyway. Uh, oh, and before I say anything else, let me mention this. Um, I think Yen Press announced, I think they announced it a little while ago, but again, I haven't been able to do anything about it. Uh, they announced that uh, Volume 1 of Fruits Basket Another will be released um, in English in, you know, North, North America. I believe on July 24th, so you know, later this month. So it's good. I'm excited about that. Finally, be able to get to read it in, in English. So I'm excited. Anyway, so back to this. Um, so this is the it's a card game. It's the Friends of the Zodiac. Uh, so now I don't know if like Funimation ever put not Funimation, but like if there's ever a Japanese version of this card game, but um, not too long, I guess, after Funimation, like 2003 or 2004, after Funimation had released Fruits Basket, um, they had put out this little card game that you could play, um, which they don't actually sell anymore. They don't put it out, they don't make it, they don't sell it anymore. So the only way that you can get this is, like, secondhand. So you can only get, so, like, I had to get mine off of eBay. Um, now the tricky thing is about it is you, is that normally these things are I forgot exactly how much I paid for mine but like normally these things go for like close to a hundred dollars for some reason but mine was actually at a surprisingly like normal kind of decent price I forgot how much it was but I know it was a really good price and I was like oh wow um, and all I, all I remember was that the person said that all the cards were there and I, ha I have looked through this and yes all the cards are here. But it was just that, and they're all in good condition, it was just that the box was in kind of beat up shape, which is true, and I was fine with that. Like, yeah, the box is kind of not in mint condition, and it's beat up, and you'll see a little bit more of it in a second. Uh, but all the cards are fine, they're all in good condition, all the cards are there, so, I mean, I'm fine with it. Um, but it contains, and this is, I guess this is the front, I don't know if it's the front or the back of this, because this is the, has the picture, and the other side just has the description. Um, but it contains, it's for two to seven players if you play this Friends of the Zodiac game, but it also has, and you'll, uh, you'll, I'll read it on the back here in a second, um, but it also contains a, like a 52 deck plus two jokers, um, like a normal like poker deck slash playing card deck, and so technically, yes, the Friends of the Zodiac game is two to seven players, but it also has a normal, you know, playing card deck in it, so it's like, you can also play any other, you know, card game that you can play with a normal deck of cards. Uh, but it, overall, this, this package has, um, 121 cards and a rule book. But, uh, so I'll, sh I'll show you a little bit what I mean. See? Yeah. It's, boxes, this is just a little beat up, you know, but it's, it's fine. It's a little beat up, but I mean, it's fine. Uh, so this is the back of the box. I mean, there's nothing really special anywhere else. Um, um, and I'll just, I don't have to read this because this, this portion right here, because this is just all recapping the story or kind of giving the basic summary. I'll just read from here and down. It says, uh, join Toru and lock the friendships of the Soma family or play the true friends version and discover the memories of the other players. You'll find that there are as many ways to play as there are to make friends. So each... And so, you got each box, if you, if you do, just, if you somehow find another one, for those of you who want to try to get this, and you find it for a, a good and a decent price, it has everything, it should contain the rule book, which uh, has the instructions for the Friends of the Zodiac game, two alternate versions of Friends of the Zodiac game, and then the Rich Man Poor Game, Rich Man Poor Man, or the Die Hinman uh, game that's in the anime and manga. Uh, but besides the rule book, it also includes one two-sided Toru Honda card, 13 two-sided Soma cards, uh, so there'll be human, 
There'll be human on one side and then animal on the other side. Um, and then 52 cards that double as a poker deck. Or the friendship cards. And this is the normal. They're kind of just, you'll, you'll see them when I show up. And then there's two jokers. And then 53 memory slash event cards. <clears throat> mm, yeah. Anyway. So, again, there's not much inside. It's just, um, it's just two decks of cards and are separated into two, two decks of cards. That's what I did. And then the, uh, the rule book. See, nothing else in there. Um, I'll just stick this right here. So the rule book is, it's just a small little thing. And of course the rule book isn't, it's, it's kind of crinkled up and whatnot, but it, that's fine. But it has all the pages and it just has all the instructions for everything. I mean, it's, it, it's, it, it's not too complicated. It's kind of interesting. Maybe one of these days I'd like to play it with someone. But at the moment it's like, oh, okay. But it's, it's kind of fun. It's cute in its own way. All right, so now funny thing is, all right, so I'll go through this one first. This is the, so this one is the, uh, this is the 52 playing card set um, with the two jokers. Now, I, now when, <clears throat> when I got it, I, um, I put it in, I basically organized the cards so that they're all, all the suits were together. And then normally I'm, I'm a person who I like putting the ace before the two. But, um, in this case, the cards kind of have you do otherwise, because, um, well, you'll, you'll see it. Well, because, uh, where is it? Because Yuki is the ace, and so you can't have the ace down here, and then, it, I mean, you could, but it, it doesn't match with how the order goes, because, uh, this follows the order of the zodiac, so, but, but, it, but, but I'll go ahead and show you them, and, um, and we'll continue from there. So you got the two has Keo on it, and the, and all the number cards are the same. Uh, but and you'll find out as we go, they're gonna have they have the same character on them, and all the all the backs are the same. So I don't need to show you the backs anymore. Um, all the so all the numbers have the same. All the same numbers have the same um, characters on them. I should. But each time they have a different picture of said character. Now, if you notice, of course, this should be the bird slash Kurenel, but they have a house for him instead. And that's because, of course, Kurenel did not appear in the anime. So they have, which is weird because they do have, like, the zodiac. They do see some of the zodiac animal forms of them. So I, mean, I don't know why they didn't show them. Like, I find it funny that they have the horseshoe. Because <laughs> this is obviously supposed to be the horse, Yuren or Suzu, but they don't. You know, she didn't appear either, so they kind of just have to make, they kind of just had to improvise, which is fine. Um, but you'll notice even a theme with um, the horse and the, the ones for Kurno and Rin, or the horse and the rooster, is that um, they, like, Kurno's tends to always be like some kind of house, which I, I it's kind of fitting of him, I think. It's kind of fitting. And then, um, I think the Suzu's usually tends to be some kind of food or other random item. See? And then, we've got, we've gotten to the next set of suit of cards, but now it's, it's gonna go in the exact same order, animal order, but now it's a different set of pictures. And I really liked that, that it wasn't just constantly the same picture over and over and over and over again. They actually did switch it up. See again, look, Kurno is a house. They have Kurno represented by a house. Which, I mean, it, it's fine. It, it, because I guess in a sense, like, for Kurno's sake, or in case, um, it'd be kind of weird to have the animal there, and then, well, because the, all the other ones match, right? See, so that Brenna's food again. Which, I, it's kind of, that's funny, because I, I do think of, it's odd to say I think of food when I think of Ren. But I think of like her the thing that she said that oh she liked uh, gelatin. But I think but um it kind of makes sense and I guess it kinda of works out because of them having them as one specific kind of item or like a house or something, instead of like when they do their animal forms. Um and then having one card or one set or two set of cards, I forget. 
um, as their animal forms, and then um, having to see other cards as random objects. Um, because all the other characters, it's like they all match. It's like you have their animal form, and then it's the character. And so, I, in a sense, it, I guess it makes sense to kind of try to keep it consistent. And then we got the next set of cards. See, this goes in a big loop. And it's different pictures, even when they have the, the, uh, them in, in their human form. It's still, a diff it's still different sets of pictures, and I like that. It's not just all constantly the same. I've grabbed two there. See, once again, it's the house. I do like these. And again, these, these cards are in really nice condition. The thing that I'm kind of going back and forth over at the moment, and there's some more food, is whether or not I just want to keep them in their box. Now, obviously, I'm going to keep the box in the rule book no matter what. But I'm kind of torn on whether I want to just straight up keep them in their box or whether I want to get a binder and put them in like uh, the card protector sheets or if I want to go get like some of those um, trading card sleeves and put them in there. I don't know, there's, there's too many options here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think about it. Unless someone wants to tell me otherwise, give me some other kind of suggestion. Oh, we got Kagurugan. This is the last set. And sugar. And then the house again. And then, let's see. Hero. And then more food for Rin. Right? That is food. It's just so funny for some reason. I can't. And then Ayami. And then Hattori. And then that's a really cute picture of Momiji. And the really nice quality pictures, too. that's super cute. Oh my gosh. And the really nice quality pictures too. It's not like they're blurry or fuzzy or anything like that. At least from at least not at least maybe maybe you can't pick it up on the camera. But at least here it is. Alright, so the last two cards are, so that's all 52 right there, and the last two cards, and these two cards are the Jokers, so we got, and I, I like that they have Uo, and then Hana as the Joker cards, and that they have like their little, uh, the symbols that represent them, I like that, it's really cute. Alright, so I'm going to put this over here. Alright, so all of those cards, when I, so when I first got it, um, like they, I still believe they were, I think, they were still separated into two different um, decks like this, but uh, if I remember correctly, the big thing was that, um, was that they, of course they were all kind of jumbled up within their own decks, and so I went through and I had to make sure that every single card was there, and I know initially I was kind of when I was going through this one, I was freaking out initially because I was like, it looked like one of the cards was missing, but then it turned out that no, it was just jumbled up somewhere else and it was hiding from me. Alright, so this deck of cards does have a slightly different set of backing to it, just very slightly. So this has a, which matches the theme. So this has a, like a pink backing, and the normal deck has a blue backing, see? The, the kind of just normal deck cards have, slash the friendship memory friendship cards, yeah. Uh, so, the first 14, I should say, these cards have, are double-sided. Uh, so, and if you notice, if they're very similar in that they follow the same colors pattern. That one side has a blue tint to it, and then the other side has a pink tint to it. And, um, yeah, just... And, and, of course, that's the, that's the one card that's the double-sided Toru card. And then um, these are, so you've got the blue side, and then there's the pink side with, with his animal form. And you just do that over and over and over again. Now, I did read through the rules, so I do kind of vaguely remember them. But it said something about how, like, um... 
Um, something about like some of the memory cards or something. When we get into the event, the memory and like the event cards or the friendship cards, they have like these these sort of symbols on them. And then like in order to like befriend, like when you're playing the game, like in order to like befriend one of the somas, you have to have like you have to play those certain cards or have those certain cards in hand or something like that. I'm not entirely sure because I read the rules like a when I first got it, which was a good like month or so ago. But it's something like that. Tori. Get this course. And then Ayame. Snake form. Sorry about that. I had to fix something. Uh, this is a little bit we got we got more. Uh, food for Ren that represents Ren, like the human form, and then her animal side actually does have the horse on it. So, I mean, that's the portion that I'm kind of confused about why they just didn't put like the horse on there, um, uh, on like the playing card deck when they had all the animals. So all the other ones, so that cause that first suit of the playing card deck is just them all in animal form. So I'm, I was kind of confused as to why they didn't just leave her in. Or keep keep the horse have that represented as the horse in animal form. And they have Kurano, which is here. Just again, it's kind of the the house slash. But I think that's kind of represented. And then of course they have this side, which is kind of weird that they have the um, the cuckoo chick from the. Um, Valentine's Day episode slash volume uh, chapter from the manga because it's like they used the the horse picture from the zodiac scene but they didn't do so with him so it's kind of weird but it is what it is I guess it's the only thing I guess they could do that's probably the only weird probably really weird strange thing but other than that it's it's fine it all works out. And then last one of the character cards. And then from here on out you got a set of memory cards and a set of event cards. And so I separated them into, when I organized them, I separated them into memory cards. Yeah, and then a separate, and then event cards. And I was trying to have fun with this and I tried to, um, I tried to put them in the order of which they happened in the anime. And so these these are the ones that just have normal backings. I keep going. quickly because there's a lot of cards. I mean that there's a lot of cards in here. <laughs> but they all have like little descriptions on them and like they're all titled different things. Like they're still memory cards but like they're yeah like they have a title up here and then they have a description down at the bottom. And see how they have like these little symbols, yeah, like little symbols. They they tell you, oh, you can play these um, with certain. If you if you have these cards, you have, draw, you have to draw a certain amount of cards. If you have these cards and you play them, um, then you can like befriend one of the Soma family members or whatever. And I think the goal is. I think depending on like the amount of people there are, unless you just want to go crazy, if I remember from the rules, was that you can either try to, you at least have to befriend, I think, like half of them, I think, or you ha or if you really want to go crazy and have like a super long game, you, you try to befriend all of them. It's something like that, if I remember correctly. That's a cute picture, by the way. A very cute picture.
I think that is the end of the uh, memory cards. So I'm going to point out real quick that the event cards have a slightly different coloring to them. The memory cards are purple, have a purple theme to them. And the, um, I'm trying to get it, the event cards have this green yellow. Well, I guess it's, I guess it's green theme to them. Yeah. 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 Well, this is purple and yellow, and they kind of reversed the coloring on it. Um, and the picture, and where the little description box is, but it has a slightly different coloring event to it. But see, I went through all of the memory cards, and I tried to put them in order which, of which they go. I'm going through all the event cards, um, and I try to put them in the order that they went, appeared in the anime. Um, and, um, if I remember correctly, what, what the event, the event, well, the event cards are, well, they're event cards, they do different things. Some of them will, um, some of them, I think, will, it's like, some of them will, like, make it so that you flip the card, the Soma cards over from being, like, animal to their human form, or from their human form to their animal form, or you have to flip a certain number of cards over, or something like that. They do different things depending on, I guess, like, what they are, and what their descriptions are, and stuff like that. It's been fun. Almost there. There's so long and there's so many cards here. But I do I do like that they really are in good condition. I guess this is this is probably pretty it's pretty rare to find these. Um at a decent price and the cards all the cards actually being there as well as the rule book and actually being in good condition. It's, it's kinda hard to find these. Because normally they're either in not so good condition and cheap, or they're um, they're like they're supposed to be like somewhat mint condition and or either mint condition or kind of mint-ish or kind of newish condition, and they're like super expensive. So I'm just glad that I was able to get them, get what I could, get these at a decent price. Even if it's, because the, yeah, the cards are fine, and I'd say even the, the rule book is fine. It's just the, um, the box is messed up. Um, so yes, that, uh, the, those are both sets of the cards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these back up. Because um, I want to keep them safe. And together, um, but yeah, the the fruits basket cards are very. I don't know where I was going with it, but they're they're, they're kind of rare to come by, so I wouldn't try to go out of your way to try to find them or try to buy them if you wanted to. But I just wanted to. I got them because again, it was kind of rare that I found them at a decent price, and then actually, it was just the box that was in bad condition. But, uh, again, that's really rare, so that's why I went ahead and picked them up. Um, but I just wanted to show them off, because I know that not many people will have seen them, and, um, you know, I just wanted to show people what they were like, what they looked like, and what the cards were, and so on and so forth. Um, but that's really about it. Uh, so, I have some other videos that I definitely want to try to get done. Um, from some other stuff, I have some really stuff, some stuff I've been waiting to get for a while, and I finally got it for years. I mean, when I say a while, I mean, like, years. I've been waiting to get some of this stuff. Um, but then most importantly, don't forget that Volume 1 of Fruits Basket Another comes out, and it will be released from Yen Press officially on July 24th, so I'm super excited. Uh, so, uh, thanks for watching. And bye for now.